St. Joe Live Movie Reviews. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows is the second movie from Michael Bay's production company, Platinum Dunes. Now, Cecilia, you're a Turtles fan, right? I'm a Turtles fan from back in the day. The 90s cartoon was my favorite. Right. I am right there with you. So what did you think of the second one? I was unimpressed. I, I will go ahead and say I was unimpressed by the first one. I, I so agree I was equally as unimpressed by this one, if not a little bit more kind of sad about it. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely, uh, th I'll give this credit for one thing, that it does flesh out the turtles a little bit more. We get to know their personalities, and it seems like they're trying to have a little bit more fun, but the problem is all the rest of the characters are so void of personality that there's not a whole lot to be had here as term in terms of fun. Right, all the people in it did not seem like they were having fun. So the actual <laughs> people were really boring. We get our favorite villains, which should be great. We got Rocksteady and Bebop, uh, Commander Krang, and also Shredder. So that should be something to be excited about, but it's not. No, it's definitely not. It's just empty fan service. They're throwing all these characters that we've never seen on the big screen together in a Turtles film and hoping that that's going to be enough. It's not enough. It's, it's not really kind of just empty. Even <laughs> so. the addition of Casey Jones, who's a fan favorite, not enough. Oh yeah, Casey Jones is the most boring character I think the Turtles have ever seen. <laughs> and it should also be noted it is a PG-13 rated movie parents and it's definitely PG-13. Right, yeah, <laughs> this is at the at its core this is a children's film but they're throwing all this profanity and kind of objectification that's really weird in context of the it's movie. It's really strange. What would you give this for a rating? I'm gonna have to give this one two Joes. I'm also giving this one two Joes. An eight or nine year old might like like this, but beyond that, I can't see anyone really enjoying this. Pretty much this. any parent being drugged to this, probably not going to have a good time. No. To read my review, check out St. Joe Live in Friday's edition of the St. Joseph News Press. And you can check out my forecast Monday through Friday on The Morning Show. Until next time, we'll see you later.